I've recently found myself in a situation where I desperately needed a bubble diagram ASAP. So I decided to create this in Illustrator and it didn't take me that long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. I do think that you should have quite a bit of understanding about the requirement of the brief and maybe you could do a checklist if the brief is not clear about um, the different spaces and their size if it's mentioned. If not, you could do a little bit of research. I started off with creating the church space which was um, kind of the main aspect aspect of the design so you're really just creating different circles and one thing I do find that people struggle with is that they create their bubble diagram do not consider the site or the orientation so do keep that in mind while you're doing your bubble diagrams because it does make it a lot easier starting to add the different bubbles and then you can use some of the alignment features to kind of get them in the right place and if you want to align different circles together to a different object i suggest you group it first before you align it otherwise illustrator will align each circle So then I've created this rectangle to kind of suggest a vista between um, the main entry space and then the seating to the left space. And then I've aligned that too and I've turned that into a dashed line. And you can create that really easily by clicking on this button here and then changing the spacings if you'd like. I did find it quite difficult to get the right dashed line. I don't know, maybe I'm just being really picky. But for some reason, I didn't like the thickness or uh, the spacing between the dashed lines. So if you want to take my sizing, if you like it, you can go ahead. But do experiment and see which style do you prefer. Then I've added this color palette, which is kind of now my brand colors, which I'm so happy with. So it's really easy to color things in Illustrator. You can just select the circle, shortcut eye, or the eyedropper or the eyedropper tool to um, select any of the colors in the color palette. I kind of went with the lightest colors being the most public and then the darkest colors being the most private. I've also added green, which was um, an indication of green spaces, but as you can see, it's not in the color palette, but it does really work well if you pick it to the right tone and hue and saturation to the other color. So then I started adding some titles and explaining the different spaces. For the font, I went with Calibri Bold Italics, quite nice and works really well with the diagram. And then you can just go ahead and start adding the text for all of the other spaces. So then afterwards, just go ahead and keep adding all of the circles and all of the other bubbles kind of in consideration with the orientation. So for this design, we kind of had two major functions, which was the church space and as well as informal sports hall. You can kind of see that the informal sports hall is kind of relatively the same size as the church space with all of its functions together. And those are also connected together with an atrium space. And then you can also add some connections to get that connection line, it's only just a dashed line, but then you, you increase the stroke of it to kind of appear that way. So it's different from the atrium space. It's more of a corridor or that they're linked together. So for the informal sports hall, it will kind of need showers and bathrooms and changing rooms. So that's linked to that. And we also have a major equipment store that they house all of their sporting equipment. And then we have the lobby space and that also has its own atrium and it kind of links together with the other atrium created lively street between all of the functions that then these functions can open up to. The orientation of, for example, the lobby is on the south side to retain as much heat as possible. The church space is on the north. This was kind of an early bubble diagram, so we did have to change it a little bit. The services to be on the north side as well. So that's just a matter of switching the circles and the bubbles. Um, to the north side. There's also different activity spaces and that opens up to the lobby space. And then we also have some kitchen and offices.
you can use the select and then go to same by stroke weight or stroke type and then you can adjust all of the lines together if you want and i played around with it quite a bit because i didn't like how it looked but i finally got it to a stage where i was happy with because the stroke of the line wasn't aligning with the stroke of the bubble and that was really irritating me so i eventually decided to just leave the connections between the bubbles instead of going over the bubble I've also added arrows to kind of indicate the different entrances so we have an entrance from each end of the atrium space. To add an arrow in Illustrator you'll have to add a line first and then from the right here where it says stroke you can then add an arrowhead and you can change a scale to kind of fit with the rest of the diagram. I also used the shape builder tool to connect the atrium spaces to be one shape. That was kind of the final diagram. It was really quick and really easy and I think it looks quite professional. I would much rather do this by hand to be honest because um, I just love the look of it but it is a different approach to bubble diagrams because it's clean and it's quite easy and I feel like a lot of people can recreate really easily. I do want to point out as well that you can add so much more to this. You can add, for example, spaces that need light, spaces that need insulation. So whether that's using different strokes or maybe different icons to the spaces to kind of add more detail into it. I only had 20 minutes to create this, so I just left it at that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys have been up to this past few weeks. I know I've been gone from YouTube for almost a month now. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Rasha Shuru and I'll see you next time.